my channel I am the Ink Noisemate and today I thought given that the Series X is due out we would go through the state of play of my Xbox One collection um, so you, you know I, I, I aim to, to get as many Xbox One games as I can as I say I'm going to try and do the, the kind of whole backwards compatible thing um, for anything that will go backwards compatible to the Series X just lock that um, so yeah, so let's start I guess. So they're all piled up here, I'll just bring them up and show you. So the first game we have is Lego DC Super Villains, the Deluxe Edition. And the Deluxe Edition came with the game, it also included the Season Pass and this little minifigure of Lex Luthor. Um, as you can see, not the best, um, but yeah, but so I got this for Christmas when the year it came out. Um, I, I'm a sucker for a Lego game, as you'll see when we look through this this collection. Um, unfortunately, I've ripped the box, um, but but yeah, I've completed the game. I've not got thousand G on it yet, but I've completed the game. Next up. Another sort of deluxe edition, we have Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Um, so this again, I believe included the season pass. It also included a, a Giant Man uh, minifigure, uh, Hank Pym Giant Man, uh, which we have here. So I'm not... Um, I don't collect minifigures as such. Uh, I think I, I have a couple, uh, mainly I've got a Deadpool one and a, a couple others dotted around on my geek shelves up there. But um, I actually made this, uh, apologies for the light, if I have the big light on, um, it, it kind of it puts a daft glare on the screen, some dots. So I actually made this, this is a crude version of myself um, I actually did it at a work event, it was a Microsoft work event that um, when I used to work for a, an IT distribution company, um, it was an Azure Cloud event. Uh, okay, so next up, another special edition, uh, this is a limited edition, uh, again another one that includes some figures. We have Asterix and Obelix XSL 3. Now, I actually am going to confess that I actually got this because I like the figures. It's been a long time since I've watched or seen Asterix or Obelix. So here we have the Obelix figure carrying uh, a Menia, which is a Menher, which is what the title of it is. It's the Crystal Menher. Um, basically, he uses these to batter Romans. And then we have the titular character, the other titular character in Asterix um, carrying a boar. Now, I don't know much about this game, uh, having looked at it, uh, I actually watched the trailer for the, uh, what they're calling the Raw Mastered version, play on Romans I guess, uh, and it looks very much like a, a beat em up uh, strategy type game with various different other elements involved such as cart racing and, and various other bits and pieces okay so yeah another deluxe edition this time we have Assassin's Creed Origins now Origins came with the game soundtrack and the map of Egypt um, hand drawn map of Egypt it also included two extra missions and several pieces of digital content excellent game great entry into the series I am looking forward to Valhalla. Um, I really liked this sort of sea change from the 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 older way of doing things into this more fluid, you know, open world style. Um, great game if you've not played it. Uh, same with Odyssey. I would recommend picking it up. Okay, so next up we have another special edition. Um, we have Just Cause Three. So this actually included um, 
a weaponized vehicle pack and a Medici map. Um, the Medici map is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to completely unfold it, but I'll uh, show you what I mean. It is like a proper sort of tourist map. Um, as I say, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to unfold it all, but it is pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, Um, I mean, the Just Cause series is a good series, open world sandbox style. Um, that's the last time I'll have to bend down there for a while, the rest are all pretty, pretty piled up. So, next we have, I don't want to say it's a special edition, it just has a sleeve to it. Um, I've not really played this, don't know much about it. It's got, a, it's quite a nice sleeve, but we have Evolve. Um, it includes a monster expansion pack. It's a 2K Games game. I don't remember it getting. Uh, maybe I'm wrong because I'm looking at the back winner of over 60 awards. And I say I don't remember it being very critically well acclaimed. But maybe I, I am wrong, and maybe I should actually stick it in and and, and have a go at it. Um, maybe that'll be one of the things I'll do with my Series X. Who knows? Uh, given that I've not ordered any of the games that come out day one. And finally, in the sort of special editions, we have Alien Isolation. This is the um, uh, the I can't remember which pack this is. Not the Nostromo because the Nostromo is the uh, it's the Evac pack, I assume. Um, the Nostromo pack comes it is the Nostromo pack. Um, so it included a couple of of uh, bonuses in there. Uh, excellent survival horror game, nice steel book, um, complete with cardboard sl cl sleeve. Um, absolutely fantastic survival horror game. You don't have any weapons or such, you have like a, a, a radar gun, I guess, um, and you, you go around and you try to avoid the alien and not get killed. So, moving on to kind of normal games, I'm going to pull them off in maybe stacks of, of five or six and go through them. So first up we have a Rockstar game. I actually have this on the 360 as well, but it's L.A. Noir. Uh, I'm gonna confess, I wasn't the biggest fan. Um, it seems very clunky. Uh, the ideas were good in that you, 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 know, you interrogate people, etc., but uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. So next up is one in a series of games. Again, I enjoy the series, even though a lot of this series is just sort of rinse and repeat. Um, and we have Far Cry and New Dawn. So uh, it's a great follow-on from Far Cry 5. Um, excellent follow-on after the events of 5. If you've not played it, I would recommend playing it. I would play five first, so you've got a grasp. I think five was one of my favourites that they released for the series. Next up, one of the excellent new Tomb Raider series. I really, really enjoyed the the three of the series, just Tomb Raider, Rise and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, all great games. Very, very sort of. Um, what's, Uncharted style, um, yeah, <laughs> they're just very, very similar to Uncharted. But I guess Uncharted is where sort of Tomb Raider kind of started the Uncharted style of things. I guess. Next up, another game in the series. I've got several of them for my 360. Um, I can't remember how many I've got for the Xbox One. If I'm honest, we have Dead Rising Four. Um, so again, good series of games can get a bit meh at times, but um, I enjoy some of the sort of weapon making and the whole uh, the whole what, killing of zombies. I guess. Now, this game, I'm sure somebody asked about it. I might have the wrong game actually. I need, I need to think. Of, I need to go back and, and watch your video again because I definitely have the game that he was asking. Um, it was a 360, so it won't be this one. Um, 
I have a copy of 2K16, I think it was Al um, on his Music Magpie video, he was asking if one of the, the WWE games should come with a manual. Uh, the 2K16 one does, but it, uh, it's definitely not this one. I'll go back and have a look and I'll, I'll double check um, and drop him a message on, on his video. Uh, I'm a massive wrestling fan. Shame 2K20 sucked the way it did, um, but obviously one of the greatest of all time on there. Um, especially for me, you know, they they have what the Americans have Mount Rushmore and they have the Mount Rushmore wrestling. For me, you've got to look at Austin, The Rock, Undertaker, and I would probably put Shawn Michaels on there, uh, just purely me as a, as a wrestling fan, Undertaker being my favourite. I would even go as far as to probably actually put Mick Foley on rather than, than Michaels. Um, Mankind was just phenomenal, and Mick Foley himself is amazing. Um, next up, another series of games. I've played quite a lot of them. Uh, dare I say it? I think I, I sort of fell out of love with a lot of these big AAA titles, and you know, Fallout Four, as good as it looked and as good as it played, I wasn't the biggest fan. Um, but I think it's just I need to. I need to be in a mind frame to sort of play that big, super, you know, um, triple A level title. Um, another game in a remaster, we have Crash the Insane Trilogy. Um, having played the the games when they were first out, I have not played many many levels on that. In fact, I played more on my mate's PlayStation 4 copy than I did on, I have on my 3 sitting my Xbox One copy. Okay, moving on. We have a game that's been attacked by some stickers, so I need to try and sort that out, but it's uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the Day One edition. Um, I played a little bit of it. I don't really know much about it. I guess I need to go back into it um, and get back into it. So, next up, again, game series I absolutely love, as I've said. We have Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. I really liked Rogue when I was first going through it. Um, and then I think I put it down and I didn't really pick it back up. I, it, which is a shame, really. I've got it digitally as well. I, I just I need to get back in and, and, and complete it so I absolutely loved the first one of this game and the second one was just as funny it's a shame these games were censored in the UK um, but um, we have South Park the fractured but whole um, I love the the episodes that centered around the whole Coon and Friends um, that Mysterio type uh, Type, uh, like, like Marvel DC style, um, they were fantastic. I, I I loved the Lord of the Rings style ones as well. From the um, the first one, the Stick of Truth. Um, out of the two, Stick of Truth is the best one for me. Although Fractured Butthole has its place and was pretty funny. <clears throat> Next up, we have Metal Gear Solid: The Phantom Pain. Again, Day One Edition. Came with some bonus contact, uh, contact content even. Just close that. Uh, I'm gonna need to start getting through these, otherwise this is gonna be huge. Um, okay, try and motor through some of these. Uh, the reason that my gamer score is so low is because I played multiplayer on pretty much every single one of these games. Um, not really played the 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 campaigns on them really since Modern Warfare 2, uh, since Black Ops 2 probably. Um, that's Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 4. We then have the third Dead Rising game. <laughs> and the irony, we then have the third Black Ops game. So, uh, let's pick up a bigger stack and move on. We have Disney Infinity 2.0. So, I do have the Toys to Life for this. Um, that came with it. I think it was Thor, Iron Man and Black Widow. I also have An Incredible Hulk. Um, there is one that I really really want to try and get hold of. That's, so it, it's a fan made one. 
and that's the Deadpool one, but I don't think it would work with 2.0, I think it's 3.01. Then we have the Xbox One edition of Minecraft. Not a massive Minecraft fan. I don't even know how I got it. I think I picked it up for like three quid or something. Um, and it, I played it a couple of times, but I'm not. It, there's another game in my collection that I'll get to that I am a bigger fan of. Okay. Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, again, another one of them titles. I've played quite a lot of it. I, pre I don't know whether I completed it or not. I can't remember. Uh, it took me maybe four attempts at Red Dead Redemption to get through it. I, d I don't know why. It's a bit like watching something like Breaking Bad. I, I've watched the first series I think four times. I just cannot get into it. And I don't know why I couldn't get into that either. Another remaster. We have Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. Uh, great kart game, quite an underrated kart game. Is it as good as Mario Kart? I don't think it is, but it was still good in its day. And we have one of the Arkham series. We have Arkham Knight. Uh, I have completed this. Don't find it as good as the first two of the series, but it was still a reasonable game to play. Uh, there's too much of uh, the Batmobile in it for me. Um, I'd sooner do more of the combat style game again I know nothing about this I picked it up I think I picked it up maybe for a pound somewhere uh, and that's Project Spark um, where the creators go to play I don't even know whether, there's, whether the servers are still open for that another Toys to Life um, game we have Lego Dimensions I do have all of the, the boards and I do have one of the expansions for it uh, one of the, the newer um, expansions uh, I can't think which one it is. I, I I can't remember. It's one of the big. I think I might have bought the Fantastic Beast one for for my missus. Not hundred percent sure. And um, Doom, classic game, great re remaster. Well, it's not even a remaster. Great reimagining of the the title Doom. Um, excellent next gen version. Then we have. The Far Cry 5 game. Um, I really enjoyed Far Cry 5, even though it is, like I say, it, it's pretty much rinse and repeat, build a tower, you know, beat a boss type thing, but it's still fun to play. <coughs> okay, uh, and then Far Cry 4. Um, I, I, I didn't mind Far Cry 4, I uh, preferred 3 over 4 and preferred 5 over 4. Um, we have Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, it's the one of the series I don't really remember that much about, to be fair. Then another WWE game. We have 2K18 uh, with Seth Rollins on the front. This included Kurt Angle, um, the, the Kurt Angle pack. Uh, I can't even remember what was in that, to be fair. Uh, I played it and. I did what I needed to do to get the titles and stuff on it, but the 2K games slowly dwindled down and weren't very good. And then we have another Call of Duty in Modern Warfare. Again, I'm not a campaign person for Call of Duty games. I'm more of a um, more of a multiplayer person. Another WWE game. The ill-fated 2K20, it's a shame that they rushed it out. It would have been good if they hadn't rushed it. It might have been a decent game. Um, the next three are part of a pickups video I did uh, earlier on. It might not have even gone out yet. Uh, well, it should, yeah, it should have done. Um, we have Arslan, Warriors of Legends. Now, this is based on an anime um, game, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Again, I, I, I'm not. I, I don't know much about it. it. Just looked good when I looked at the back of it. Then we have Kingdom Hearts three. Now, again, Kingdom Hearts isn't a series I know much about. Uh, I just like the look of that. The whole idea of Disney and, and Square Enix. Um, they are all on Game Pass, or they were last time I looked. Um, but I wanted to get the physical copy of three. 
And we have Shinomura X. Now, uh, Shinomura is a shoot 'em up. Um, I don't know. I played Shinomura, Shinomura, Shinomura. I can't remember how you pronounce it. I played that on the 360 version, so I decided to pick up the extended version for the Xbox One. Again, I think this was part of this, uh, the same pickups video. We have Victor Brand, the Overkill Edition. Now, this is kind of a top down Diablo style game. Um, I wanted to get this because it had the Motorhead DLC. Played the 360 version, not played the extended version yet. And we have Wolfenstein and the Old Blood. <coughs> it's a Wolfenstein game. Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein game. Um, you, it's a first person shooter where you kill Nazis and robot dogs. Um, don't think there's much needs to be said about a Wolfenstein game. Um, and we have Flockers, which is essentially Lemmings with Sheep. It is done by Team 17. I did it as part of a pickups video that I did a while back. Another Assassin's Creed game. We have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Odyssey was another one of those games that, that was excellent in the series. Uh, I really enjoyed the change away from, from the style. Um, I think I got the season pass with this. Um, it has reversible cover art as well. Uh, I reversed it to this one, I think. Uh, yes, I did. Um, and now I can't get it back in. Um, there we go. So yeah, again, if you've not played Origin uh, Odyssey, I would I would strongly recommend it. Why put that down there? Uh, another Lego game, we have Lego Worlds. Lego Worlds was a great idea in theory. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it in the end. It just doesn't have the same sort of pizzazz, probably not the word, but it doesn't have the same pull as a, a, a licensed Lego game, such as the, um, the you know, the, all the, the Marvel, DC ones, Star Wars, etc. Next up, we have another Call of Duty, World War Two. Can you spot a pattern? I was one of these people who bought them every year. Um, I think I stopped when, I can't remember which one it was I stopped at. Uh, I might not have bought, I wanna say Advanced Warfare. Anyway, game I got when it was first came out, um, that is Rare Replay. So Rare Replay was amazing. 30 games included on it. All of the good Rare games. Um, uh, you know, you've got, uh, apart from Donkey Kong Country and, and obviously the, the Nintendo licensed ones, but we, you know, you've got your Viva Pin Pinatas on here. I really enjoyed the Viva Pinata games. Uh, Snake Rattle and Roll, Cameo, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day was on here. Grab by the Ghoulies is on here. Battle Toads is on here. Um, excellent excellent and you you know you can pick this up dirt cheap now so if nobody's if nobody's played it uh, I'd highly recommend grab, grabbing it uh, in this small pile we have another platformer and that is ukulele now I believe the sequel of this has just come out um, it's a team 17 game it, it's very much in the vein of a banjo kazooie um, I didn't enjoy it as much as banjo kazooie but it was still good now another compilation game we have and this is still sealed the reason being I have it digitally and this was bought for me for my birthday we have um, Sega Mega Drive Classics there's over 50 Mega Drive Classics in here I'm not going to go through them all but you've got Alice Kidd and the Enchanted Castle, Golden Axe series, Streets of Rage series, Toe Jam and Earl, uh, Sonic series, Swords of Vermilion, Revenge of Shinobi um, great great collection of games uh, and you can pick that up again for, for maybe about £10 at the minute in Asda um, absolutely loved this game I um, thought the new film was good but I, I really loved this game and that is Mad Max Mad Max was phenomenal the way that the weather used to change in it um, you know it was a great great game to play um, I'd highly recommend it if these games, if I didn't have so many in this collection, 
I would have probably tried to do some game capture and show some of the footage around it but um, it's just that many of them I'm not going to try and talk that much into it so next we have what I would consider the th three of the best Assassin's Creed games m around uh, I have them all for 360 but I, I had to get the remastered Ezio collection um, this includes uh, Assassin's Creed 2 which I played before I played 1 went back to play 1 and found 1 was very slow then I have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood um, just close off one of the notifications and Assassin's Creed Revelations all, all excellent games in the Assassin's Creed um, uh, saga then we have Shadows of Mordor now I haven't given this game as much love as it should have I think I went on to play the, I battered some of the Nemesis, of, Nemesis earlier on Nemesis? earlier on and then they got super powerful and they beat me and I put it down in a huff I think <laughs> I, yeah <laughs> um, now this was the game I was talking about when I referred to Minecraft we have Terraria I own Terraria on this on Xbox One 360 3DS I want to say and also on PlayStation 3. Um, I love this Terraria series, put massive amounts of time into it, it's great 2D building um, with a lot of action elements into it, fantastic game and it's real time sync if you, if you want just a time sync game. Next up, another Lego game, we have Lego City Undercover, wasn't my favourite, again maybe because it wasn't one of the licensed properties and it wasn't one that I fell in love with, I played it. I, uh, I did as much as I could to complete all the story um, I haven't gone back and, and mopped up the G, the game score yet on it that's a plan with some of these games I just mop up after another Far Cry game we have Far Cry Primal um, essentially it was Far Cry set in um, the Stone Age I think um, you know you play as a warring village Still, it, it was alright wasn't my, my favourite then we have another Batman game we have Return to Arkham so this has Arkham Asylum and Arkham City on it, Arkham Asylum was immense, Arkham City was, was good but I believe there may have been Game Breaker in in, in it um, that I think eventually got patched but I'm not 100% sure just getting through the stack now, i put these ones up as well so that I'm not having to bend down again so next up, I looked, I, I picked this up because it looked absolutely immense in the trailers and everything that I'd read about it and I've not really gotten into it that much. We have Cities Skylines, the Xbox One edition. Um, I played a bit of it but again, yeah, I've, I've just not got, got into it properly. So this was the game I've been playing most recently, again another Lego game, it's the Harry Potter collection. Um, I bought it for the Switch for my fiance and I also bought it for the PlayStation 4 because I know the trophies for it are pretty easy to get. Then we have Mafia 3, now again the Mafia series is very similar to um, a GTA. Uh, I didn't particularly like this one compared to two, but this comes with an excellent map in it. Um, this had the family kickback pack as well. Um, I, I just couldn't, another one, played a bit of it, I just couldn't get into it. Okay, we have Watch Dogs. Now I picked Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2 up. I played Watch Dogs, I have it on the 360, but I haven't played 2 yet. Um, Watch Dogs, when the trailers were released for it, when it was first coming out, were looked absolutely amazing. It just didn't hit the heights for me. Um, I, I picked them up, up again because I want to do. I do want to get the the new Watch Dogs for my Series X, but I wanted to play one and two first. Speaking of Watch Dogs two, we have Watch Dogs two. Um, I think I like the idea of the new Watch Dogs because it's set in London. Even though I'm not a massive fan of London itself. Um, it's good to play a game where you can see, you know, you know the area where you're running around. Um, we have the 
the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Again, I have it on the Switch as well, I think. Um, I've not played much of it. I bought this for my fiance and, and she loved it. And she's, I think she boosted my gamer score on it. Um, we have Darksiders 3. Now, I need to buy the... Um, I have them digitally, but I need to buy the two physical remasters of 1 and 2, because 1 and 2 are immense. Um, 3 is a is different to 1 and 2 in the, the style. Um, I like the storyline, but I think because it's a different creator, it may well be why it is different. Um, the combat st style is different. And we have another remaster, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. I must admit, I picked it up, I played Warehouse twice I think, and I've just not gone back to it, um, because there's been other things that I've been playing. Then we have a game that absolutely shit me up, um, that is Resident Evil 2. It doesn't help when you've got a fiancé stud, like when you're playing Know, whispering in your ears and stuff like that telling him he's going to get you and stuff um, just playing it in the dark there's a bit early on with some crows if you've played it you'll know about those crows and it, it absolutely I, it shit me up um, I need to get back into it I've just not had chance again another triple A title I played it put it down wasn't found it a bit there again I'm not a big GTA fan um, I don't know what it is about them so I picked this up because I saw the fact that Alan Wake was on the cover uh, I've played a bit of it I need to get back into it then we have Dishonored 2 so I played the first one on my 360 and I have played some of this but I need to um, need to play this and I want to play the third one as well and finally another Lego game that is Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens um, it's Lego Star Wars there's not much you can really say about the Lego Star Wars license so that is my Xbox One collection as it stands in November 2020 or at the start of November 2020 um, I wanted to do this before the series hits came out and uh, and then I can put it out I might even put it out on the, the release day for the series X uh, luckily a game have, have said that I can uh, now that I've paid for it um, I can go and pick it up on release day which is good I was a little bit wor worried that we, I won't be able to pick it up until December but it seems I can pick it up so I'll get this, um, this all sorted and get it up and I'll probably put it out on the release day. Okay, so I've been the Ink Nordner. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please, please, please like it um, on YouTube. And if you've liked the content, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I, I, I'm trying to put out as much content as I can for people to enjoy. Um, and it's, I'm trying to make it as varied as possible. All I can say is, again, I've been the Ink Nordner, and I'll catch you on the next one.